This morning I was in a travel agency in Delhi and they literally told me to not come to this city. Yes, the hotel might be a bit sketchy, the rooftop might be a bit undone, but this city is of incredible importance for the Indian history. In May 1857, here in Mirat, that's where the Indians started to rebel against the British. That's where the first war of independence started. And once they killed the British officers controlling the area, they did march on Delhi. I literally have no idea what there is to do in Mirat, but I wanted to explore this city. Have a feeling of what it's like to live in a city of rebels. And check if it could be fun also for me, apart from the honks. I'm trying to walk to downtown as fast as possible. I'd like to check if there are still some colonial buildings. And I also have to get some meal because it is over 20 hours that my stomach is empty. Hi. Sorry, repeat. Repeat. YouTube ID. Huh? YouTube ID. I don't know. Do you speak English? No. No English. No English. No English. No. Okay. GoPro. Yes. For, for YouTube. Camera. Over. Yes. What is your name? Uh, Michele Ponte. <laughs> what is your ID name? Huh? ID name. YouTube. YouTube. Michele Ponte. Okay. Danevat. So let's try to cross the street without dying I'm following the locals So this city has over 1,300,000 people And I'm very curious how they live here What do they do? City name Huh? City name What? City name my city, mm. Italia, Roma, Italy. Where do you live? Where do you live? I don't, uh, I don't live anywhere in the world, uh, travel. Why you don't speak English? You should speak English. No. Why? <laughs> but what is nice to see in the city? Mirat. Huh? Ah. Mirat. Mirat, yeah. Well, what is nice in Mirat? Okay. At this point I totally think I need a Hindi course. Nobody speaks English. Your name is? Karthik. Karthik. Come? What's your name? Anshu. Anshu. Anshu Karthik. Karthik Rajput. Anshu Rajput. Nice to meet you. Okay. So we are starting to see some pretty interesting big things. This one was supposed to be magnificent a long time ago. But, but now it is a bit destroyed. Further we start to see a historical place. And this one is the first city where I see more ships than cows, which is surprising. Maybe this one once was a shopping mall, a market. It has been left like this. Hello. Anyway. So we are now approaching what originally could have been the city gate. And maybe there was the walls of the city was protected and then downtown was in that direction uh, probably the city expanded so much because it's increasing about 100,000 people every year and uh, well I love it very beautiful mess so originally this gate was built by the British in the year 1914 it's written 1914 over there there is a famous clock which is broken and uh, apparently there is some kind of offices inside because uh, they just closed one of the doors. In the past uh, this one was considered the fanciest area of the city where to live but nowadays I think all the rich people moved outside downtown and they are living in the suburbs. I really do not blame anybody that wants to live in the suburbs because here is absolutely a mess. At sunset time, finally these places can breathe and I was attracted by those towers over there. It might be a mosque or something else, so let's go check it if it's possible. Oh. 
Oh, the cow wants to be on camera. I fear that the mosque is covered by all these shops. I see people leaving their shoes, so I'm not even gonna enter. This one is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful buildings in town and the one next to it reminds me of a castle in front of the sea area in Italy. Hello? What are you doing here? Thousands of years history is here. This is the city of freedom fighter. In 1857 there was a there was a revolution mm -hmm. against the Britisher. Yeah, the soldiers of the British army, those who were Indian, they fought against them and Nearby this place is very famous is here. Uh, this famous this city is basically is a business city. Seventy percent of the people they are doing business. Mm -hmm. Like if you talk about the sports, cricket bat, S G B D M, S S. Most of the Indian cricketers or international cricketers mm -hmm. they visit here and buy here batted bats from here. Okay. Apart from that, this is the city of Asia's biggest uh, jewel market. Nearby here. There is a market where they make um, the they make the that uh, jewelry also. What jewelry? Jewelry also. Ah, okay. Small small ring and all they they are making. Apart from that, there is a market of sound musical market. Mm -hmm. Sound guitar, okay. harmonium, all kind of. And this is famous also in Asia. Most of some companies there, there's a Nadir Ali's company is there. They are exporting to foreign foreign countries. Okay, so they come here, they buy the products and they, they sell. They buy there. They have contacted because it's an old company, mm -hmm. hundred year old company. Well, when I was in Delhi, they told me to not come to this city. Maybe. So it's very maybe strange. maybe because people are strangers. You can find the strangers of uh, here. And we'll talk about, about the food of Meerut is very famous. We talk mm -hmm. about the veg, non-veg. All kind of food uh, that Chola Batura is also famous. I see, I see. I cannot pay you as a guide, but if you want, I can offer you dinner. We can have dinner somewhere. No, you can uh, put the petrol in. What, my, what? Petrol in my vehicle. Scooty. Scooty, I have two wheeler. Uh, you, you have That's a scooter. Uh. There is a tomb is there. That is very famous. Tomb is there. Okay. Cantonment area is near. Hardly one kilometer is there. Mm -hmm. How you, how you go there? By the I, I'm walking everywhere. Only Indian 500 rupees you have to fill the petrol only. How much? 500 rupees for petrol you fill there. No, no. I'm really not rich. What? Out country. Italia. Italy. Are you from uh, here? Yeah. Oh, you, you speak English? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Do, do, you, do you have a tourist uh, sometimes? Yes. Yes? From where? <laughs> okay. It's funny, I ask, oh, so you know English? And then they're like, yes, yes. And later, they are not able to say even one word. <laughs> but I'm grateful they called me. And they didn't want to sell me anything, which is a huge upgrade compared to all the others. Here is the local post office. I should definitely buy some postcards for my Patreons. But it's too late at night. On both sides of the road, hello. <laughs> on both sides of the roads, here and left, it's a textile market on multiple floors. Sunset is approaching, therefore they are closing, but it's nice, very colorful. I simply do love colors. Do you speak English? Yeah. Huh? I don't understand, I'm sorry. <laughs> Impossible to do some English over here. So guys, we are back under the famous gate. Let's see on the other side of this market uh, what's gonna happen. We definitely have to find some food. Famous Lassi. Very nice building actually. Here we do have another mosque. The only problem is where to eat. So many buildings are nice and interesting, but uh, they are not restored. This one would have been perfect in any other city. And uh, what a nice entrance. Under some aspects it feels like I am in Egypt. Look at this place. So pretty. What an entrance. Here we are in New Orleans. 
I've never been to New Orleans. I wish to go. It's one of, of the cities that I'd love to visit in the US. Look at this place, the Moroccan vibe. Maybe that's what he meant by the jewelry, so that they are famous also for jewelry in this place. Hi. Hello, hi. What is your name? You speak English. It's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Mika Michele Ponte. Not in, in, only English. Huh? Only English. Yeah, English. Yes. That's good. You don't speak English. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, you do. Your uh, channel name? Me, I'll show you. This one. This one. Okay. okay. Have a good day. Done what? Thank you. Maybe the youngest generation speaks some English, which is a huge upgrade. But this market is so interesting. Look at this place, much better than Delhi. Here you see the real life of normal people. And another huge jewelry shop. Oh my gosh. Here uh, there is gold everywhere. Samosa? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, how much is for one? 50. 15. One, one five. One five. Um, can, can you give me two? Done the Huh? Peggy. I have no idea what's Peggy. No, the samosa. Peggy. Hey, what's Peggy? Peggy. Ah. Okay. Done the work. Sorry. They went the package. <laughs> Everybody was waiting for the summer. Thank you. Have a good day. Wow. They made the entire packaging for me. They gave me the sauce to mix with the samosas. Now I just need to find a place, sit a bit and eat them. Maybe not here. Oh, there we go. I'm sure it is not a proper way to end the fasting with fried food, but that's okay. Maybe I could be eating here, but too many things flying around. Jewelry everywhere in hidden places and honking everywhere, which is the common thing in India. These tiny roads are much, much prettier than what I've seen in Delhi. A completely different vibe. In India they do not eat the same food, they do not speak a common language, they do not have the same religions, but they honk in the same way. Incredibly lively city, I like it a lot. And there is this very very interesting building in front of us, it is a temple. This shop is the left tower of a building. I think I should eat the samosas and end my video exactly where I started it on the rooftop of my hotel let's go buy some pani which means water we got the water most important thing in this life and apart from money if you want to help the channel you know what to do link in the description for PayPal, Bitcoin, Patreon thank you so we are back up here Let's try the samosas. Probably I should put the sauce in this 